Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to design and build a push-pull shifter sensor. This is for those of you that are designing your own quick shifter and don't yet have a reliable sensor. Um, hopefully this will get you closer to completing your project. This will be uh, uh, video 104. Uh, the first video will be designed on paper, which is what this video is about. Uh, video number two will be machining the sensor out of aluminum for those of you that are interested in how machining is done Video number three that video will highlight how everything fits together and will help you make more sense of how it works uh, Video number four Designing the electronics to detect the push-pull force being applied on the sensor Okay, so uh, Let's get to it uh, let me show you how uh, the sensor looks, the whole sensor put together. So that is the sensor. Uh, obviously the sensor has a shaft. This is for attaching the shifter rod. This shaft is threaded. And uh, that is the sensor. This would be the shifter rod being attached to it. Uh, so let me draw you the individual parts so you can start seeing how uh, how the sensor is gonna fit together so let's start by doing the body of the sensor which would be this part here uh, so just pretty much the same thing you have up top except that I'm gonna show you the internals of how everything looks inside the sensor and uh, then we'll go through the all the dimensions required uh, to make this work. This part is threaded, so is this one. So that is the body of the sensor. Uh, the cap of the sensor, which would be this part here. This part is threaded as well. And uh, last one, it will be the shaft, which is this right here.
this is one solid part this part is threaded and uh, the shaft is going to have a magnet and two o-rings one will be there the other one will be here to assist with the compression uh, so that is your part now the dimensions um, we'll start with the dimensions here this will be the uh, uh, some of the dimensions are not as critical. I'll, I'll highlight the ones that are critical for this part to make it work. This is going to be uh, 0.39 inches, which is 10 millimeters. This is just in case you want to put a flat here uh, if you want to use a wrench when you're putting it together. Uh, the OD of the body is 0.71 inches. The OD on this end is on the cap is 0.36. This one is critical. That's the outside diameter. Um, the length of this net is critical uh, is 0.4 inches. Um, what else? Okay, so the length of the body is 1.65 inches the inside diameter is 0.567 that's a critical measurement uh, the depth of that thread is 0.6 inches the depth of this will be well before I get to that let me dimension this so the the inside diameter of this is 0.235 that's a critical measurement um, the length of this is 0.25 that one is critical as well uh, the other critical measurement is this one here this one is 0.23 um, this one here critical as well 0 0.07 inches the o-ring itself the o-rings uh, measure 0.13 so uh, the magnet measures the same as well 0.13 inches um, so those are the critical measurements critical as well as this one this needs to be the the, the depth of uh, the width of the the two o-rings the width of the magnet and the width of the stop uh, in addition the the width of this part which is 0.25 inches so it will be 0 0.25 0 0.13 for the magnet 0.13 for one o-ring and the other o-ring and then we want the the width of the stop which is 0.07 now would be uh, 5 and 7 12 and 9 21 carry the 2 7.71 so the width of this will be 0.71 inches and then we also want the depth of that and that will be the width the 0.71 plus this part here and we want um, uh, almost twice the width of the o-ring which is 1.3 so double it is 0.26 but we're gonna leave it at 0.2 so 0.2 so it's not too long 0.2 plus uh, 0.71 is 
1.91 inches. Uh, what am I missing? What am I missing? The width of this one, that is critical, 0.1 inches. The width of this, that is critical either, is 0.2 inches. And I believe that is it. This is an M6 thread. This is an M6 as well. Um, the width of this can be between 0.8 and 1 inch. We're going to do 1 inch. And the thread itself is going to be 1 inch as well. That is your part. That is your sensor. We have the three individual parts along with the three components, two O-rings, one magnet, uh, and then we have how it looks together once, once it's assembled.